Hey everybody, it's Sharon here from GimmeAct.com. Here we are today back in the Cursed Legacy DLC for Dead by Daylight going for the Broken Bodies achievement. This one is to hook a survivor when three other survivors are in the injured state. This one is going to be done from the killer side. You can get this done with any killer, so no purchase necessary for this one. However, I highly recommend you use Legion for this if you have him available, as his ability is going to make this a lot easier. Regardless of killer, if you have this perk available, I highly recommend using it in the form of Sloppy Butcher. If you are using Legion for add-ons, I highly recommend you use any one of his two blade add-ons. So just make sure you equip that, and that's going to be the main build we are going to be using. Once you have your setup done, make sure you get into the game. Your goal at the start of the game is obviously to try to put as many of the survivors in the injured state as possible. The injured state is going to be when you land a single hit on them and they get the red slash over their character portrait. So the best way to do this is to find each one of the survivors and make sure you just attack them once. And then once you get to the last one, just make sure you down them and then also hook them while the other three are still injured. So this achievement can be a little tricky. And the big reason for that is most likely the survivors are going to be all spread apart from one another or are likely to become more spread apart. So the longer that the survivors can stay injured, the better, which is why we recommend using Legion. The reason for that is if you use Legion's frenzy attack, you are going to put a status condition on them known as deep wound what it's basically going to do is it's going to add another barrier in between them getting from injured to healthy so this will help you buy more time as the longer the survivors can stay injured and the longer it takes for them to get back to healthy the more time you have to move on to the next survivor and hopefully you can find all four within a reasonable time from one another so just try to spread the status condition around if you are still charging it. Do keep in mind a normal attack will work as long as you are trying to put injured on everyone. You should be making progress towards this. The deep wound status is more of a help you keep people injured rather than actually do the injury process. So just make sure you keep that up and then hopefully you should be able to find people rather easily. This is obviously better to do on a small map where you can have better map control. So make sure you also keep that in mind if you aren't having too much luck with this. But once you get at least three people injured, it's going to be a race to find the fourth person. Once you spot that fourth person, you are going to want to down them and then pop them on the hook like normal. So what's going to count for the achievement is only if the other three survivors are going to be in the injured state. You cannot have them in the dying state where they are downed and you cannot also have them on a hook or eliminated from the game. So the reason this achievement is going to be a little tricky is you can obviously only do this with all four survivors out on the map. So if you ever eliminate anyone or someone disconnects or something you aren't going to be able to work on this achievement anymore for the duration of that game. You only need to do this a total of 10 times in order to get the achievement, so it's not super grindy. However, since it's so situational, you are more likely than not only able to do this once per game. So you definitely do have to be both patient and vigilant for opportunities to come up. Do take advantage of survivors who are going to be more likely to rescue their teammate from the hook rather than heal themselves. In these situations, once they unhook their teammate, you can quickly rush in to try to read down and rehook them, and that way you can get two off of every survivor. Remember, you can only get two hooks on a survivor before they get eliminated. So once you put two hooks on a survivor, if you want to continue working on the achievement, make sure you turn your focus on hooking someone else. So these are definitely going to be games where you aren't trying to eliminate everyone, and this is going to be the most efficient way to rack them up. Nonetheless, once you finally manage to bank in your 10, you should be good for the achievement. There it is. This one's going to be for 20 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.